We haven't had a security breach like this in years, and never on my watch. I trust you and Dalton will take care of this. I've been the CEO of Ryujin Industries for over ten years now. I've also been lucky enough to continue and grow its success since I took the position. I was elected CEO when my predecessor, Itaru Saito, was proving to be incompetent. He was jeopardizing our relationships with both the Free Star Collective and Benjamin Bayou, which would have made doing business extremely difficult for Ryujin. We caught hostile operatives with Ryujin Tech a while back, and linked them to the Free Star Collective's Council of Governors. Saito was enraged. He wanted more than the usual compensation from the Free Star Collective. He wanted the truth. When the truth was refused, he went after Bayu, accusing him of knowingly condoning the Council's actions. The compensation should have been enough. To this day, I can only speculate on why the truth was so important. The Council of Governors is a group of political and corporate elite that oversee the Free Star Collective. They institute the laws and have the Free Star Rangers to enforce them. And, of course, Administrator Bayu is one of them. Just look at our position. We're based in Neon, a city controlled largely by Benjamin Bayou. And Neon is inside the Free Star Collective, controlled by the Council of Governors. I think the answer is obvious. In an ideal world, yes, it's a goal I look toward. But a move like that isn't something that happens overnight. Unraveling the complex relationship would be years of work. So until it's no longer beneficial, I'm content to take it slow. Neuroamps make some people nervous because they can enhance your ability to influence others. But with the external appearance, people can always be aware of those who have them and may be using them. An internal Neuroamp would be unnoticeable. Should it be used to influence someone, that person would be none the wiser. Our latest line of neuroamps were created to help with the user's self-image. They can boost confidence and the ability to communicate and think critically. Those types of improvements in competency can easily help influence others. <sighs> Ryujin has many enemies outside of the corporation. To be an enemy within and avoid detection takes a certain amount of skill that only so many of our employees possess. I do have suspicions, but feel it's too early to say at this time. Dalton is our chief security officer. He oversees everything. Employees, network, information, even the tower itself. Since I promoted him, we've decreased our security breaches by 96%. Only a handful of competitor operatives have set foot in the building, and our physical security was able to quickly subdue them. waiting. It's just more time to doubt myself. This place is incredible. I can't believe we made it up here. Can't you just sit down? I'm nervous enough for this presentation without you fidgeting. I'll relax. You'll be fine. Ryujin will be lucky to have us. I hope you're right. My head's going to roll if we screw this up.
I'm glad we're making an effort in our appearance today. I see we have an operative who can appreciate a good suit. Thank you. I believe appearance to be a point of pride. In the effort of making small talk, I hope you're enjoying your newly gained position. Our operatives are quite the expense, but a necessary one. You're proving to be quite the outlier. We have that in common. I believe I've met my social quota for the day, so I'll be continuing on with my work now. Perhaps we'll chat another time. Much work to do. Shouldn't you be on assignment somewhere? Thanks to my predecessors, no. The user agreement for NeuroAmps is very clear. It stipulates that once activated, the user assumes complete responsibility for the hardware, its usage, and any risks that may come with using such a device. Your guess is as good as mine. Jalen and I don't speak too often. It's always prompted by a special occasion or a tragic event of some sort. We aren't a close-knit family, unlike some who work here, and I'm under the impression we both prefer it that way. <laughs> Busy is an understatement, but most of what we deal with is considered routine, so our workload is manageable. Good. You're here. So, thanks to your work in Sidonia, I'm told someone here has leaked information on Project Dominion to our adversaries at Infinity LTD. A mole within the company means a failing in my department. We're initiating Security Directive Theta, which means a full sweep of every employee in this building, Masako and myself included. Directive Theta allows for a third party to conduct the sweep. This way, the results can be objective. We certainly are. Directive Theta has one unique case, and that's Ularu Chen. The Directive calls for a specialized programmer known as Nix to investigate her, but he'll need your assistance for an unusual assignment. Ularu has the ability to thwart any investigation, so it's imperative she knows nothing about this directive. Her knowledge and talents are why she's the Chief of Operations, so she is the best equipped to evade detection. Believe me, if this mole slipped past us, it would have slipped past anyone. I won't go into the nature of our practices, but our methods are second to none. Nix will be giving you a program to run on Ularu's computer that will pull any data needed to prove her guilty or innocent. Your job is to infiltrate Ryujin Tower as an anonymous outsider in order to run this program completely off the books. This means your keycard will be turned off, and the security guards in the building will consider you to be trespassing. Directive Theta requires utmost secrecy for success. We don't know what connections the Mole may have, so we can't risk informing our security team. If you get caught, the guards will follow standard procedure and lock you up in a cell for questioning. Provided you don't provoke them. And I strongly advise against provoking them. These are your fellow employees. We want this to go as smoothly as possible. 
We employ over 100 members of our security team who rotate floors and shifts. It's possible you'd be recognized, but even so, my orders will be strict. Authorized security personnel only. And you certainly won't qualify, making you an immediate suspect. At least one of us is. In the meantime, I'll ensure all non-essential employees, Ularu included, have left the building, claiming routine security maintenance. During that time, I'll be unlocking access to the tower's ventilation system, which you can utilize to help avoid detection. I'm also issuing you a disruptor, which should help in avoiding casualties should a worst-case scenario turn up. It concerns me that you don't know. A disruptor is a non-lethal weapon. Our subsidiary, Arboron, makes an excellent one that I'll be issuing you. It will stun your target, giving you a chance to get away. But you'll only have so much time before the effects wear off. Ularu doesn't know about Directive Theta. But she'll fully expect a building closure while we investigate. As far as she knows, it's standard procedure. One that she no doubt has already made accommodations for. This is why we're bringing in a third party. She won't be expecting to go up against Neon's best. And it's also why secrecy is of utmost importance. Not even our own security detail can know, in case the information leaks. We even try hard not to kill non-Ryujin employees. Crazy, right? Good. No one can know about this, not even our own guards. So stealth will be of utmost importance. In fact, as much as I appreciate the words of your associate here, you may be better off heading in alone. Any precautions to mitigate risk should be taken. You'll meet Nyx at Madame Sauvage's place. He knows Directive Theta has been enacted. I've got my eye on you. My company's future might be riding on this deal. Some folk never leave their hometown. Whatever you say, I'll be waiting. Me is better off than those people carving chasm or working a desk job. You got an appointment? Cause if not, consider this area reserved. Only when I meet someone for the first time. I like to meet strangers in public for safety reasons. I'm sure you get it. So why not in my favorite bar? Oh yeah. Dalton's little errand runner. I've written up a program just for the occasion, but as Ryujin knows, it's yours for either a price or a favor. And should he? Nothing's for free, you know. Cost is a given. 
While you're snooping around in the tower, I just need you to hit up one more workstation on the way. It's Camden Cho's. Just run the same program on the slate I'll give you, and you're good. It's that simple. That's between me and another client. But you can bet if someone wants something in old Camden, it's not because they like him. Let's just say, it's nothing beyond something that Ryujin would do to anyone else. I hoped you'd see it that way. Like I said with Camden, all you've got to do is run this little beauty on Alaru Chen's computer, and the program will take care of the rest. Once you're done, bring the slate back to me at my place. Whatever encryption Alaru has is bound to take some real work, more than my little setup here can handle. It's nice to see you know more than just sneaking around and talking a good game. Here's the slate. I'll be waiting. I have zoned out of my mind right now. <laughs>
that stupid drone robot. Stupid? These things are so cool. I have one of the old models. Wish they paid us enough to afford the new release. At least give us a discount. <laughs> they give me a raise and I'm spending it all at the Astra Lounge.
It's messed up when a guy like me is better off than those people carving chasm or working a desk job. So, you made it. Guess Ryujin's security really is slipping. <laughs> Just brimming with confidence, aren't you? But I've seen your work in the Trade Tower, so I'll at least give you some credit. Now, I'll take that program back that I gave you, and let's give the data a look. The program I gave you to run on Ularu's computer basically opens an all-access back door for me. I can see everything and anything, so let's take a look. First, I'll just save off Mr. Cho's info. My client will very much appreciate that. Now on to Ms. Chen. Ularu has some impressive encryption on her files. Not that I can't crack it, of course. Circumventing protections, running decryption... This should just take a moment now. Damn, I'm good. That went faster than I thought. I'm saving several files to a slate for Dalton, including access history and anything related to Project Dominion. Adding in new encryption for him as well, so he's the only one that can view these. And done. You're all set. I've got the new encrypted slate. Let me tell you, it looks like fun times ahead for Ryujin. Technically, I'm not supposed to look, but it's kind of hard to not see what's going on while running all my software. Since you came through on your end, let's just say that slate isn't going to paint the best picture for Ms. Imogene Sauzo. But bear in mind, you're dealing with some pretty talented people when it comes to falsifying information. I can be sure, because I know my business. But, like anything, evidence alone can't tell the full story. The rest is up to you and Dalton to piece together. And don't be too sure about that. Imogene was practically raised in the corporate underworld. I'd almost guarantee there's intent behind everything she does. Here's the slate. As usual, always a pleasure doing business with Ryujin. It's a bad place for tourists these days. Save it for someone who gives a damn. I'm ready to make some waves. <laughs> On it. I've got my eye on you. I've been waiting here for ages. My company's future might be riding on this city. Keep out of my way, and I'll keep out of yours. Is it done? I assume you are successful. I didn't get any incident reports last night, so I applaud your work. I expected as much. Now, let's see what we have here. Hmm. 
I didn't think it was possible. But someone's been accessing Ularu's files remotely. It's quite a complicated trace, too. I'm impressed Nyx was able to track all of this. Damn. And there's our culprit. Imogene Salzo, senior operations specialist, and one of the few I had in mind for who could pull this off. Well, the motive could be anything. Credits, grudges, even boredom. Well, she has the means and access. But things are rarely so cut and dry. As corporate heels go, Imogene's all right, I guess. Her being the mole just doesn't smell right to me. Well, before we make any harsh decisions, I'll need to question her myself. I want you to head to her office and escort her here. We have to make sure she doesn't try anything before I have a chance to speak with her. I just want to avoid a scene. Sending you keeps the rumor mill at bay. If she runs, the guilt will be apparent. And you'll have no choice but to dispose of her. As much as I'd like you to subdue her and bring her in, Imogene would never allow it. She knows what fate lies ahead for those who betray this corporation and get caught. Good. When you're dealing with corporate workers, discerning the truth from the lies is the hardest part. Eugene's CEO is no joke in the boardroom. Something you need? How's it going? I heard we lost one of our key informants. Ularu's pretty livid about it, and has the text digging into who's responsible. Rumor is... He had a really pissed off ex that finally got her revenge. I thought Imogen was supposed to be in today. If you happen to see Lyndon on this floor, give a girl a heads up. Try not to harass my techs too much. They have work to do. Let me guess. Looking for Imogene? I'm sure you can tell by now. She isn't here. Which is a shame, since I have several documents I need her to sign off on. She's always been the master of avoiding desk work. There are work skills, and there are life skills. I can't help it if I have both. She hasn't stepped into the office since the maintenance closure, probably abusing her paid time off again. I know for a fact she doesn't have any external meetings or business trips. I'm not even sure that's any business of yours, but I do enjoy keeping close tabs on my counterpart. Dare I ask why you need to know? Oh, so it's that intriguing. I won't pry, but this will be a fun distraction for the day. I have Imogene's last location at Frankie's Grab and Go, which we all know is a front for the Sioka Syndicate. You'll want to get executive sign-off if you plan on chasing after her. I'd say Dalton is your best bet. The Syndicate is bad news. They're probably in bed with Benjamin Bayou, might even be his puppets. Anyway you cut it, this is gonna be tricky. Your guess is as good as mine, but she's up to something. I could tell she was trying to cover her tracks, but this is my job. And there's a reason I'm in charge of the technicians here. Is there an echo in the room? Yeah, Frankie's is a front. Crap convenience store on the outside, high-tech hideout on the inside. 
Of course, the only people that really know that are Ryujin Bayou and the Syndicate itself. Good. I'd hate to see what sort of drama might get stirred up if you went around him. Or maybe I'd love it. Keep the workplace interesting, right? <laughs> Word of advice. If you're planning on forgoing authorization and just tiptoeing your way to Imogene, park your friend at the door. Two's a crowd if you're trying to lay low. Good luck finding Imogene. Oh, and if you do catch up with her, be sure to let her know I had everything to do with it. I warned people that Tomo was unstable, and look what happened. I hate being stuck in the office. No Imogene, I see. Could she really be on to us already? A good question. But with her abilities and connections, the possibilities are too many to speculate on right now. We need to find her first, and address that issue afterward. Of course, Yuko would know. If Imogene's with the Syndicate, I can't just send you after her. You'll need to speak with Benjamin Bayou. We have to make sure he's aware of the situation. If we're lucky, he may even help us get to Imogene. Bayou owns the Sioka Syndicate. For you to walk in there without discussing it with him first could be seen as a violation of our business relationship. Good. Because without it, this adds a complexity that we do not have time for. Head over to the Trade Tower and be discreet. Let Bayou know that you're there on Ryujin's behalf. He may ask for credits or even a favor. Just give him what he wants. Ryujin's got deep, deep pockets to just give Bayou what he wants and not blink an eye. Uh, it shouldn't be for anything unfamiliar. Bayou is a businessman. Any favor he may request wouldn't be far off from the assignments you've already completed here. The sooner the better. We don't want to give a clever mind like hers any more room than we have to. Just be sure to bring her back here in one piece. If she's truly the mole, she'll have a lot to answer to. If she resists or tries to run, we have no choice but to take it as an admission of guilt. I'm afraid you'll have to dispose of her. Uh, hold up. Isn't that a bit extreme? You don't want to be able to question this girl first? Imogene may be a valued operative here, but that's what makes her equally dangerous. We're lucky enough to have her position now. But should she disappear, we may never have another chance. Yeah, the galaxy is pretty damn big with plenty of places to hide. If I was after someone, if you got the shot, you gotta take it when you can. I'm glad we're on the same page. It's something I hope our mutual friend here will understand as well. Matters like these are handled within the Corporation. The information we're dealing with is too sensitive for law enforcement, and their security leaves much to be desired. It wouldn't be long before the information was either leaked to the press or sold to yet another competitor. And even if she's a lone wolf, her severance package shouldn't be a bullet. The risk of Imogene continuing to operate as a traitor is too high. If we don't dispose of her now, she could cause a great deal of harm to this company. She knows the consequences of betraying Ryujin, which makes her dangerous. If the situation does take a turn for the worst, I only ask that you perform a thorough search for any evidence she may have in her possession. 
I trust you won't let your past relationship cloud your judgment. I don't recall sending for anyone. What do you want? It's been a very beneficial partnership. As long as we continue to look out for our mutual interests, I can't complain. No. I can always make time when it comes to an old friend. So, what would be the reason? I may consider Ryujin an ally, but Dalton especially knows I don't give anything blindly. As long as it doesn't involve the Syndicate members themselves... I'll tell you what. I'll make sure the Syndicate lets you in hassle-free, provided you do a little something for me. And what mutual benefit would that be? Of course. Ryujin's success always pays out when it comes to neon profits. I hear you. Maybe we can work something out? All right. You talk a good game. And I suppose if we're looking at a mutually beneficial situation, there's no reason for me not to allow such a small favor. Check in with Ms. Moore at Frankie's. I'll send word along that you're to be expected, so she shouldn't give you any trouble. Fair warning, the Syndicate should let you search any common areas, but if anyone catches you snooping around private quarters... I'll just say, be prepared for some hostilities. I do not get paid enough to deal with stuff like that. Scram, I'm on duty. Keep your nose clean. Last thing I want is to charge you for it. Huh? Can't talk right now. Neon isn't going to repair itself. Need something? You lost, kiddo. I feel bad saying 
Sure, sure. I just don't get too many quality customers here. Most folks head over to Newell's or the Emporium if they've got the creds. I'd say less than half my customers are legit. The others are just kids up to no good. Oh, so you're the one getting special treatment. Don't look like much to me. I've got one rule for you in there, so it shouldn't be hard to remember. Third floor is off limits. They catch you snooping around, and it's open season. It ain't a threat if it's a rule, now is it? I'm more of an honorary member. I let them take up residence in the back, keep things looking legit. They keep this business afloat, so finances don't keep me up at night. That's what I like to hear. For the record, I'm only granting you access because I have to. You'll find that young lady you're looking for holed up in a room almost straight ahead. Just remember to keep your eyes on the prize. The less you consider this an open house, the better. Back off. I'm watching you. Who the hell thought it was a good idea to sell the Syndicate firepower like this? No biscuit for them. Back off. No funny business. would cross sooner or later. Not that I thought I was safe, but I never expected anyone to just slip by all the syndicate here. I had a feeling you'd be the one to come after me. Yes, and no, but mostly no. Just hear me out, okay? You stay in this business long enough, you get enough favors and connections that can help you see anything coming. Nyx owed me a favor, and gave me the heads up. I know this doesn't look good, but I had no choice. Ularu set me up. Yes, I've been acting as a double agent, but because she ordered me to. The assignment was meant to deceive, not benefit. And Project Dominion is way above my pay grade. It'd be impossible for me to deliver it, at least intentionally. I'm not the one with motive here. First, I'm not about to reboot my life. Second, I'm not spending the rest of my life looking over my shoulder for the next field op they'd send after me. Of course. But first you have to understand, she used me to play an unwitting part in this, so I'm the one that takes the fall. That's why I said it'd be impossible for me to intentionally pull this off. 
Look, I only know about Project Dominion because I wanted to know exactly what I was being accused of leaking. But that tech is dangerous. An internal neuroamp that can theoretically control other people? If the evidence points to me, it's because Ularu used it to set me up. What better way to frame someone than to take control of their mind and have them actually perform the actions? Just what we need. Ryujin being able to literally control people. They're so goddamn powerful already. Power, of course. Corporations maintain their success by any means necessary, but there are some measures Masako is reluctant to take. You may have noticed that none of your assignments directly involve murder. Masako reserves those actions only when it's absolutely necessary. Ularu sees this as a sign of weakness that needs to be dealt with. Because she knows I'm the most believable target, I'm the only one at Ryujin with the skills to even come close to being able to pull off a job like this. It's the only scenario that makes sense. Besides, what's my motive? My career is solid at Ryujin. Infinity can't possibly beat my current benefits. Believe me, after having to play double agent, I've learned all of this firsthand. Yes, it's what the technology does, and it explains why the evidence against me is so solid. Come to think of it, it also explains a few strange bouts of disorientation I've been having the past few months. That's exactly what I've been doing here. Ularu has the skill to pull this off, but she's also been behind a desk for years now. I knew she'd miss something. This slate? holds all the evidence against her. I just need you to deliver it to Dalton. It's the only way I can prove I'm innocent. Nix's contract limits his investigation to Ularu's computer and her network activity. I hacked into building security and was able to recover deleted records of her accessing the Project Dominion prototype. I guarantee the third-party company Dalton is using for his security directive Theta won't even notice it. I was hoping you would. I'm still going to lay low until I hear the coast is clear. As long as Ularu still thinks I'm on the run, she'll remain confident that her plan is working. And, I know you don't hear it much around the office, but... thanks. Letting Imogene walk was the right thing to do. Hopefully, Dalton doesn't take us out now. Or try. I hope Dalton believes me. Ularu wants Masako gone, but she doesn't have a legitimate reason to get the board to fire her. Instead, Ularu creates the very situation we're in now to make her look bad. The board sees Masako as a risk and votes her out. And, with the Project Dominion prototype at her disposal, Ularu can guarantee they'll make her the next CEO. Extremely dangerous and way too powerful for human consumption. Obviously, the benefits to Ryujin would be infinite. But, as Ularu herself has proven, no one should be trusted with that kind of power. If Dalton really believes I'm involved in this, then I'm on the run. I hate the idea of uprooting my life, but I'd have no choice at that point. And Ulara will probably send every operative she believes capable after me. Oh, great. That'll be just what I need if this all blows over. Let's just hope she keeps her mouth shut on this one. The last thing I need is to be the highlight of office gossip when I get back. Well, that, and she'll never let me forget it.
Website's changed. Well, look who's back. So tell me, what did you find out? <laughs> if you think I'm paying for that information, think again. It's just a matter of time before it finds its way onto my desk. And I can be a very patient person. Inside the Syndicate? That area is off limits, and I think we both know why. Imogene knew exactly what she was doing when she went there. Fine. Fine? I won't push. Enjoy your time with Dalton. It'll all trickle back to me sooner or later. Keep out of my way and I'll keep out of yours. Ryujin certainly spared no expense on things. You're back. And Imogene? I suppose you suddenly have all the facts now. This explanation better be good. I'm a mind to fire you just for that comment. Of course. We've scrubbed security footage and run through access card permissions and found nothing. The project itself is an enormous security risk, but our lead R&D engineer, Vina Kara, has been working on ways to mitigate this. You fingered the wrong corporate heel. Ulaura is the one you should be going after. If I'm not mistaken, you appear to be on her side. Not that I blame you, but if Imogen really wants to prove her innocence, she better be prepared to face a strict interrogation. Now, I need to undertake the laborious task of writing up a report to summarize all of this. In the meantime, Masako has requested your presence in R&D. She wants you to meet her in Vinakara's office. Masako's been focusing on how to deal with Infinity LTD and their knowledge of Project Dominion. I believe her plans rely heavily on you. Just take the elevator down to research and development. You'll find Dr. Kara's office to your left as you enter the floor. Vina's the head of our research and development team. She's the creator of Project Dominion and often considered the protege of Ray de Caris, Ryujin's founder. Once I've examined this evidence, I may need your help in moving forward. And not a word about this to anyone. I'll present what I have to the board once I've completed a full report. Don't cause any trouble.